might be asking? Because the only way I'm ever going to solve about the creepy voice or any of the theories I've been going for a while is carry on searching. And now it's the perfect time because it's Halloween it is very soon. This is where the creepy voice will likely come out. So that's what I haven't thought about all this time. It comes out at Halloween night. I just need to find it and capture it. What have I got to capture? My bag might count. Alright, it's better than nothing. about this. Come on, come with me and we'll be fine as long as we're together. I can hear lots of crows over those trees. Well, I think that's a signal of warning. So whatever I do, I must be careful where I'm going. Bring an interest into the creepy voice. Hey, creepy voice. If you come out, I'll get you a McDonald's for free. I can pay. I'm not joking. No, that doesn't work. Mm. Aha! Oh, creepy voice. It's your girlfriend here. If you come out, I'll marry you. Are you kidding me? Not even a girlfriend would work on the creepy voice. Oh, I know what it's trying to do. It's trying to do that Teletubbies magic windmill again. Or it's trying to talk to me without even having me realising. Oh, nice try, but I'm going to keep an eye on you, creepy voice. Well, what am I going to do, though? I tried everything else. I tried calling, I tried advertising, I tried attraction. I tried waiting, but so far none of the ideas have worked. Oh dear. I don't understand. That's the magic windmill again. Well, I'm not as scared as I was in the last one. I'm gonna look around over there.
around here. It must be coming from down there, where the fields are. Let's go and have a look and, and investigate. Come on. Ooh. I do say... It's a good thing we've gone away from the magic windmill. Question is now where are the bees? Oh dear, we better run. Oh, oh dear, that was close. Can you believe that? The bees nearly got me. I think I've lost them. I'm in my bedroom. The front door is downstairs. My mum and dad didn't notice it. So I think the bees have lost track of me. Phew. Oh, I will probably get a slappy. A slappy. What, what does slappy mean? Should all the spec savers. A slappy. A smacky botty, I think I meant to say. And I am only Joe King. Are you for real? Bees outside of my bedroom window? What am I going to do now? Oh, that is just fantastic. Uh, I better hide. I'm probably the best place. Water's not big enough. could be an assistant for you. Hello? Who's there? It's me, Daniel. Please come and find me. Daniel? I am in this room. Are you that guy that does the adverts? Where are you? It may be difficult for you, Louis Teagle. I am not easy to find in physical form. The truth is mate, I lost my job while advertising Direct Daniel which was going to be in website similar to Facebook and Twitter. Now, I am homeless and cannot pay my home bills anymore. Sure. How come you lost your job then? Oh wait a minute, I don't know actually. 
And that's because you're trying to reveal personal information based on Oliver, Olivia and Chianling. Why would you do that? Well, Oliver is so bloody annoying and will never shut up about anything I do or I say. I am sick and tired of never getting my ways in life. Chialing was just dismissive to me. I tried my best to be good enough of trying to be her boyfriend. Well, you can talk to me all about it on the bed. Would you have to say hello to the viewers? <laughs> I think it's a bad time right now, Louis Chigal. If they find out what I look like, they all cannot believe their rise, especially after oh, when I lost you my job. See Daniel today. Are you camera shy? But you do have that all the while. I mean, you got Shifu songs, Bleak and Beach Branch, uh, Direct Daniel. You create lots of bands for us. How come you? Oh yeah, I just remembered. No one ever seen you in person on your advert or even on my blog series. Uh, come on, come with me. Have a sit down. We can have a chat. I hope those bees won't try to find us at any time soon. Let me through, Louis Chico. I can deal with them. Are you sure? As long as no one else sees me, I'll help you out. Well, if you insist, Daniel is going to try and make the bees go away. Well, he doesn't want you seen it, so just give us a few minutes. Did you go to your local shopping center today? Can you not find that Pacific gift for Christmas for him or her? Well ladies and gentlemen, Wilkinson's has nearly everything that you need for the upcoming Christmas holidays of 2020. From cuddly toys to plastic tubs for store your valuable or essential things, this shop has promising prices and sweet staff to meet. Wilkinson's is located at the following list of the United Kingdom, Birmingham, Warwickshire, London, Yorkshire, Derbyshire, Leicestershire, Blackpool, and Peterborough, Wilkinson's. Wicked, wonderful, wide, wise. Fantastic job there Hugh. Now that's how everyone should do an advert. What do you think Oliver, Olivia and Chia Ling? I am impressed with your formative non-time wasting performance Hugh. You look like you have the skills of to do a quick advert rather than someone else who we formerly had that goes into a five minute tutorial of what instructions and steps to follow. You are without a doubt the best person and most formative advertised guy we have since Chilling arrived. You look professional with your suit and attitude. I cannot wait for more brilliant adverts with you along with Oliver and Chilling. Wow, I am speechless of your words and presentation Hugh. I have absolutely no idea what to say. Well, thank you very much, Oliver, Olivia and Kaya Ling. Say, can I ask who was there before I came into this job? So nice they are. Makes you feel better in life, it does. Releases all your stress and your sadness. Oh, um, uh, I wasn't doing anything. Uh, nothing, don't you? What are you laughing at? Giggling? Laughing? Air and with man? Doing good and growing rain? Jacob a transport guy? Come on, own up, it's gotta be now. Ladies not allowed. Mm. I'm watching you. You're probably gonna be wondering, where's Daniel? Well, he's gone bed he has in the spare room in my house. He's just chilling and sleeping after, well, his week of homelessness until he found my house. But coming to think about it, how did he know where I lived? That's a good thought. Was it one of these pictures? Or was it one of you lot? Come on, you gotta own up. You need to tell me the truth. You can't just keep secret and lie to me about it. Ugh. Ugh. I really should have spec savers or super spec savers or something. Now look what you've done to my hand. This is your fault. 
All of you are playing a trick on me, and you're all confusing me to death. Oh, no, not confused, not calm. <sighs> I honestly give up. I can't take it anymore. I tried everything, and these things are just an endless chapter in the book. Oh, dear. I don't know. Stop itching. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. But anyway. <laughs> anyway. But how did those bees appear? I mean, if the creepy voice heard me in the fields ages ago, how did they how did they have the bees and the beehive? Even if he touches a beehive with actual bees in it, the bees will be coming out and trying to sting the creepy voice. That doesn't make much sense. Does he got touchless hands or something? He touched things, but no one feels it. That is so weird beyond belief. Hmm. You're probably wondering what Daniel's going to be doing. Well, he doesn't know if he will can try and get back his old job. But I'm really hope he does, or I don't know. Hmm. That's weird. Why did the lights went out? Hello? Anyone around? Erin and Woodman? Doom and gloom and grain rain? Daniel? Oh no. I hope this isn't another dream. What am I going to do now? This is getting weird. Hello? Erin? Kaifa? Jamie? Beth and Staines, is that you? Jacqueline? Ben? Harry Humble? I am getting sick of this. This is another one of your jokes, isn't it? You really think I am complete and utter rubbish and you think I'm some baboon or some chimp or something that deserves to be at the zoo? You cheeky monkeys! Yeah, I'm not completely thin. Yes, I'm not the cleverest person in the world. And yes, I'm not the fastest, but I know how to edit vlogs at least and create entertainment for you. What else do you want from me? Mario Toys have the episodes with non-copyrighted music and it's all Kevin MacLeo, giant grin face and everything. Now look what you made me feel. You made me gone insane. Oh no. What am I gonna do? Oh no, there's no time for itching. It's the perfect time for itching. Shut up. <laughs> I'm really joking with that. But seriously, what am I gonna do? I finally figure it out. It was you, J. Cooper Transport Guy. You have gone too far this time. All of these times have gone for the creepy voice, Henrietta Biggle, my nightmares, the magic windmill, and today the bees. Are you trying to make me look like a fool or something? Or, I don't know, are you trying to make me look like a rusted lawnmower or a rusted tractor in the field? You are a cheeky... You really are a cheeky chimp, you are, in the most friendly way. And yes, I am already acting, but come on, we need to do the acting for money for drugs and stuff for the government. And as usual, I'll probably just draw complete and utter rubbish. Yeah, you are right. You do draw complete and utter rubbish. <laughs> Those Once again, are... It will never go away. God damn it. This is your fault still, Jacob, a transport guy. And Halloween night's the worst one yet with a creepy voice. What was that? Why can I hear a big buzzing sound? Good morning. Oh 
dear. It's raining outside. Not heavily raining, but never mind. How are you? How are you all been? I just had a strange dream that I was in the dark room, and then all of a sudden, I heard this big buzzing noise, and like a big bee appeared. What happened? Was it a reality? Um, I don't know. I do know though that the fact that Daniel was in the spare room asleep. Hmm. Oh, good morning, Daniel. Did you sleep well? Yes, I did. Thank you, Louis Jiggle. Shall we go and get some breakfast? I am starving. Yeah, sure we can. Let's go and get some breakfast. Uh, let's see what we can do for you and see if we can get yourself a new job. Well, viewers, um, I don't have much else to say, but happy Halloween, and I'll see you next time on the next vlog. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Go on, Daniel. Let's go and get some brekkie, and let's go and sort you out. Boy, I really hope we can find you a new job as soon as possible. Ha 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 ha!